In this video, I'm going to go through the next steps in setting up my Shopify store to sell low content books. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I did a video recently where I have decided to set up a Shopify store to sell low content books. So selling books away from Amazon KDP. My reason for doing that was because late last year, my account with KDP was accidentally terminated. And even though it was an accident, it did just get me thinking about the lack of control that we have over a business run on a different platform. So we are sort of at the mercy of Amazon and whatever they decide to do. If they decide to stop allowing low content books, if they decide to stop allowing self-publishers or anything like that, then you know our businesses can be shut down overnight. And so I am a big advocate for having multiple streams of income and for making sure we're not relying only on one thing for making money. And so I decided at the end of last year that I wanted to set up a standalone online store that I'm gonna be running through Shopify to sell low content books. And I'm going to be printing those books through a print on demand supplier called Lulu. I like Lulu because they have a lot more premium printing options, which is something that I also had been craving from Amazon KDP. They have very limited printing options in terms of the type of paper and things like that that you can use. And I've always wanted to create something a bit more premium and Lulu offers that. So the last video I did was basically just setting up that Shopify store, setting up the account and doing all that back end type of stuff. It's a very simple process. I'll link to that video and any future videos will be linked in the description box below. And so today I'm just going to be doing the next steps with that Shopify account. And that's basically going to be looking at themes and installing a theme to give my shop, I guess, you know, a more professional kind of look, something that will complement the kind of store and the kind of brand that I have in my head for this store and maybe looking at designing a logo and things like that. So I'm kind of looking at the aesthetic things in this particular video, which I'm gonna go through today and also connecting that Shopify store to Lulu because we can connect directly to the Lulu platform, which means when we make a sale on our Shopify store, Lulu is automatically notified and an order is placed with them. And then when they print and ship out the order, our Shopify store is then automatically notified so that customer knows their order's on the way. So instead of having to do that whole process manually, we can connect the two platforms, the Shopify and Lulu platform, so they can talk to each other without us needing to be in there every day doing things. So that's something else that I'll be doing in this video today. So let's get into it. Okay. So first of all, I want to connect my Shopify store with Lulu. So what we do is head over here to apps and this is where you can add all sorts of different applications that can help you run your store. So whether you are going to be partnering with some type of third party, a print on demand supplier or a drop shipper, if you're going to be drop shipping and things like that, this is where you connect. You you connect those apps. You can also get apps for all sorts of different things. Like you can get apps that help you with sales, apps that can help you connect with customers who abandon their cart. So who put items in their cart, but don't actually complete their order. You can have uh, countdown timers. You can have things to help you with your building an email list with social media. There is pretty much apps for everything, which just helps you optimize the store. And basically everything is just to help you get more sales. So there's lots of apps that you can also connect to your store. Some are free, some are paid. So keep that in mind if you do want to put in or connect to some apps, it is something that may be an extra cost. So all I've done is click on customize your store here, which has brought up the app store. And I'm just going to type in Lulu and hopefully it comes up. Okay. Yes. So we've got the Lulu direct app. I'm just going to click add app. This one's free to install. And it just confirms what you are actually doing. So I want to install the app.
Okay, and that's the app installed. So I'm just going to log in. So if you already have a Lulu login, you can just log in. If you don't, just create a new account. And it's pre-filled my login information. And hopefully that's all logged in okay. Okay, so that's now connected Lulu to my Shopify store. It literally took two minutes. That's what I love about Shopify. Even though it has a monthly cost, everything's just so quick and easy with it. It doesn't take days and days and weeks to actually do anything like it can take with other platforms where you have to be more involved in the technology side of things. But that's basically the Lulu app installed. Any orders I receive on my store will be automatically uploaded into this app which will then talk to the Lulu platform to fulfill those orders. I will be adding in automatic payment as well so that if I do get an order it just automatically gets paid to Lulu so there's no delay in Lulu being able to process and send out their order because I haven't got an automatic payment set up so I will be setting that up too. So that's pretty much it for connecting Lulu to Shopify. The next thing I want to do is look at themes. In the last video I did mention a couple of places where you can get themes. You can get free themes or paid themes. I'm always of the thought of not paying for something that you have to. If there is something just as good available that is free, I don't see why you would pay, except if you have a very something very specific in mind of how you want something to look or function, then that's a different story. But if you're just looking for a theme or a, a site to work cleanly and smoothly and fast, and you don't have anything specific in mind of what you're wanting the store to look like and how you want it to work, then a free theme is, is fine. I came across a free theme called Day Beautify and it's an e-commerce theme for Shopify. Now it does say a free 14 day trial. So what it is, is the theme itself is free. So you can install and use the theme for free. But if you're wanting more premium options, like see here, it's got access to add-ons. So this is kind of like apps that you can purchase as part of the theme, then you can have, uh, you can pay for these access to these themes. So that plan allows you access to five add-ons, that plan allows you up to 30 add-ons. So when you're talking about add-ons, it's things that help add different functionalities to your store. So how I was talking earlier about installing apps to help you with all sorts of different things, that's what this company, I guess, also has. So they create the theme, but they also create add-ons that can help you with adding different functions to your store. So you don't have to go for the plans with those add-ons unless you want those add-ons. So these are the types of things that you get access to if you do want to subscribe. I'm not an affiliate for this company or anything like that. I'm not telling you to upgrade. I'm not upgrading. I'm just going to use the free theme. And if I want to add any extra functionality to my store, I will look at all different apps, not just apps from this particular company. Now what I'm going to do is just head over here because it's automatically going to set us up on an enterprise trial. Going back here, enterprise is the most expensive subscription that they have. So I just want to make sure that I'm not going to be charged in two weeks time when this trial ends. If you're happy with all of them, then you're more than welcome to upgrade to that plan. But I don't want to. I'm going to stay on this forever free. I can see that it is selected. So by the looks of it, I'm not going to be charged anything at the end of two weeks. If you want to just check the same thing, then just make sure that you're not going to be charged something at the end of the month for a subscription that you don't want. So I'm going to stay on the forever free. Okay, so I've just clicked on theme library because now that I've joined Day Beautify, I want to actually install, download and install the theme. So theme library has just brought me basically here and I want to, I want them to stop sending me messages. That's what I want to do. Okay, I want to add to the theme library. So this should be installing the theme onto my store. Okay, and so the theme has been downloaded and installed into my Shopify store. So at this point, you can just click here 
to customize if you want to start customizing your theme. So this takes you to a theme editor where you'll be able to do things like we can add our logo, change colors, fonts, things like that. Add or take out sections if you want to add certain things into the home page or onto the product page and things like that. Okay, so basically this is what the store is looking like at the moment. Now, just going back to Day Beautify, I just want to actually show you what it looks like. I probably should have showed a demo beforehand, but this is basically what it looks like. And we'll be able to change the colors and we'll be able to change these images and things like that that's in the background. But it's a nice, simple, minimalist type of layout. So you can add in all these different sections so at the top here for their demo store they've put in their collections so you can link quickly to maybe the most popular categories on your store then we have a featured collection where they've got a few featured products they've got content so if you have a blog or a youtube channel you can link to that there's a newsletter subscribe section there's a blog section um, more links to products and areas for reviews, social media, and these little, what are these called? These are sort of trust type of things. So these sorts of little sections help build trust with your customers. So if you're offering returns, free shipping, all that sort of stuff, that helps build trust and confidence for your customer to buy from you, especially if you're new and they haven't heard of your store before. And then there's just links and some extra information stuff down here. So you don't have to have all of this stuff on your site you can customize the site to have whatever you want on the home page and whatever you want on the product pages and that's what this section is all about so I'll probably be taking a bit of time in the next video to go through some of these things at the start it's probably a little bit hard because we don't have any products uploaded or anything like that so we can just sort of get an idea of what we want on the home page when we start adding products and things like that then we can start really fleshing out the home page so at first your store might look a bit bare I guess the home page might look a bit bare you might not have a lot of things to put on the home page but that's okay we just get started we get going and we grow as we go and uh, as we get more products and as we start adding things to the the store and we start you know maybe connecting to social media a lot more and stuff like that then we can start adding these things to the home page and eventually the home page will become quite fleshed out with content and with products and different collections and categories from our websites that's what I'm going to be focusing on next but again hopefully you can see how quick and easy it was to first of all connect to the app from Lulu to Shopify and how quick and easy it was just to install a theme. So in five minutes, we have a total complete theme installed. We don't have to uh, customize it if we don't want, but I'm going to be creating a logo and things like that. And I will be creating social media accounts and stuff like that. So that's where we can start updating that stuff as, as we go on. Super easy, super quick. If you're interested in using Shopify, because it is so quick and easy to use, regardless of what type of store you want to build, whether it is going to be a low content bookstore, or if you want to create any other other kind of store for any other kind of product and you want something quick and easy I will pop links to Shopify in my description below and you can have a store up and running in a day <laughs> if you wanted to as well that's it for what I'm going to be updating today personally the fun part in my opinion is coming up where I get to create logos and start building out the website and stuff like that I find that super fun so I'm looking forward to taking that next step in the next video doing the creative graphic designy type of stuff. So that's it for this step of this process of setting up my Shopify store for low content books. The next video will be about the type of books that I'm going to create and creating those books according to Lulu specifications, getting them up on the Shopify store. If you are following along with this in terms of you are also going to be creating your own Shopify store or if you already sell low content books on Shopify and you want to drop your store name or link down in the comments below, please do so. I would love to go check it, check them out and see what you guys are all up to. If you did like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.